Hey there folks, today's battle is not the battle that I planned on uploading today. I was planning on uploading a match against the Waffle Master 100. He's a really cool guy and there's a big story about our battle, but anyway, and you can read that in the description. Anyway, I lost the save file, um, and instead I'm uploading this battle against Champion of Unova. Looking at his team, he is using some of the biggest threats of Little Cup, including two Pokemon that were recently unbanned, Mistrevis and Gligar. Uh, so I'm like, uh, this is going to be a really one-sided match. I'm not going to enjoy this. But, you know, I'm just going to try it. I mean, my team is kind of more of a fun team. Um, you know, a lot of them would be Little Cup UU if such a thing existed. Uh, anyway, uh, he, we both lead off with our Stealth Rockers. Uh, I do have Rabbit Spin on the Sand Troop, but I'm worried that he's going to predict that and switch into um, Mr. Evis. I'm predicting that a lot of his Pokemon are going to have um, Eviolites, so I can just go ahead and go for the knockoff uh, just to get rid of some Eviolites. Uh, seeing that he's staying in, I'm like, okay, well, he's got some kind of hidden power that's super effective against Sandshrew, so I'm thinking it's either um, Grass or Ice. Blake, my uh, Growlithe, will resist both. If it was Hidden Power or Water, I would have been screwed, but who runs Hidden Power or Water? No one runs Hidden Power or Water. So, good switch for me. I'm going to go for the Flare Blitz, um, and that is going to one-hit KO, thanks to the fact that he no longer has Eviolite. Actually, I probably could have one-hit KO'd even with Eviolite. I mean, it doesn't boost that much, and I doubt that he was the Heat Proof set. Anyway, out's going to come Miss Magius. Uh, don't want to take a shot. No one on my team is going to want to take a Shadow Ball, except for maybe, well, I mean, Ponyard would have been fine, but no, no guarantee that he was going to go for the Shadow Ball, and I didn't, and in case he went for the Nasty Plot, just wanted to deal some damage. I send out my IBM, my Ponyard, and amazingly he does go for the attack, uh, he doesn't switch out or anything, he just goes for the Hidden Power, it appears to be Hidden Power fighting, uh, one hit KOs me, notice the Sucker Punch, a stab, super effective, Life Orb Sucker Punch did not take out Miss Magius, um, or I'm sorry, Miss Drevis. In my opinion, that is a good indication that Mr. Evis is overpowered for Little Cup. I mean, uh, yeah, so I take it out with a, another knockoff here. Uh, and that is going to... So I've, I've, I have taken out that huge threat, but he's basically decimated all three Pokemon on my team. He killed uh, Growlithe, he killed Ponyard, and now Edgar Rice, who's a humongous wall, is down to practically no HP and is going to be, be revenge killed by Gligar. He wastes his... Um, acrobatics uh, flying gem in my opinion, but oh well. Uh, so I send out Starbuck, go for the water spot, and that was a really risky move because he could have switched into uh, his Pro Gunk, which almost certainly has the dry skin, but instead he doesn't predict that at all. Now he switches out Pro Gunk, gonna switch out here. Um, now I'm not sure what he's gonna go do. If he goes for the Dark Punch, I'm not going to want to send in my Drifloon, and I'm gonna need that Drifloon to counter a lot of his Pokemon. Instead he goes for the Fake Out, so actually it would have been a really nice uh, switch in if I'd gone for the Drifloon, but yeah, oh well. He goes for the Vacuum Wave here, it hurts a hell of a lot. I go for the Sludge Bomb um, just to try to get some damage. It's not very effective at all. I get a crit and that does actually a decent chunk. He goes for another Vacuum Wave and so here I'm gonna I'm doing this weird kind of mind game thing. I go for the Recover. I'm trying to see if he's going to predict my switch into uh, Drifloon at all and he's not. He just keeps going for the Vacuum Wave so I'm thinking well I can really probably get a free switch into my Drifloon. So here I recover back up to 20 out of 24 HP and here I think now it's a good opportunity to do a switch, and I'm just hoping that he doesn't predict, slash maybe he doesn't carry the, um, the Dark Pulse, that would be really strange. Anyway, yes, I get the free switch, gonna go for the acrobatics, um, basically, you know, okay, so I'll, I would probably rather save that acrobatics, um, flying gem boost for his, uh, scraft, scraggy, sorry, but I really need the speed boost just in case the shelter can survive a thunderbolt and gets off the, uh, shell smash. So, uh, luckily for me, I do manage to take him out with a single, uh, thunderbolt that's great for me. Now scraggy is gonna come out. I'm, unless he's scarfed for whatever reason, I'm going to outspeed, well, even if he were scarfed, I would still outspeed. Um, EVO light set survives the hit, uh, if only, you know, I'd save, the, well, I mean, I really need to take out that, uh, that program. He's not really predicting any of my moves here. So anyway, this is his last Pokemon. I send out Starbuck, gonna go for another Water Spout. I'm thinking that's the move that's gonna do the most amount of damage, and I should be able to KO at that range of health. And indeed I do. So that is good game. Uh, great game, Champion of, Anuva, of Unova. Uh, comment, rate, subscribe, and challenge.